Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to try out the new landing challenge, Chagwall. I have not tried it at all. I will give it three tries and see how badly I do. Uh, so it is in Peru. It is this asphalt runway. Well, it's nice. It's an asphalt runway. That's actually nicer than usual, I guess. Um, allows a very difficult and complicated visual approach. Well, I only do visual approaches, so... Oh, uh, people have been getting a quite a high score here. Um, near two million, jeez. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, well, it looks like the... Oh, okay, that's the touchdown... Or stopping point? I think that's the stopping point. I hope I get... Previously, on one of these challenges, I went the wrong way, but I don't think that's possible in this case. The displays are still cheats. <laughs> It should be analog cockpit all the way. Well, I'll just take a look at the situation. Okay. All right. Well, this is my first time getting a look at it, so. Okay. Okay. I'm supposed to end up there, right? I think. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's not good. That's not good, that's not good. I misjudged. Okay. That's a 551, 551,000. Um, okay, well, we can certainly do better than that. Um, I think I'm supposed to stop in the blue box. <laughs> I forget how it's supposed to work. Whether we're supposed to touch down in the blue box or stop at the blue box. I think we're supposed to stop at the blue box. Um, my propeller does not seem to be spinning. I don't know how that's an optical illusion, incidentally. I think there might be something weird going on, but anyway. Not our main concern right now. bounce but yeah, closer but I'm still going far I did about the same gosh darn it my smoothness is non-existent 505 feet per minute geez okay now the propeller looks even worse <laughs> okay yeah, go out I don't know. Whatever. I don't have any mods for the caravan, incidentally. Uh, I'm still landing really heavy. <laughs> I'm still going too far. I'm just not adjusting enough. That was worse. I thought that was closer to the thing. 
Maybe... Maybe it's a touchdown thing. Oh, now I've got a box on top. I think... I think there's a problem. <laughs> I think I might want to re-download this plane or something. I don't know. Is it always like this? Or is it just during this challenge? Do you suppose there's an aerodynamic effect to that? Was it intentional? I'm gonna try and stop at that blue box. I mean, this should be closer than the previous time, but maybe I'm supposed to touch down in the blue box. I didn't quite stop in the blue box, though. Well, it says it's better, but the landing precision is worse. It's mainly better because of the landing smoothness. So I think I'm supposed to touch down in the blue box. <laughs> it probably reviewed the rules ahead of time. The fault in the plane, though, is annoying. <laughs> I would like my propeller to move and a big black box not to be on top of it, of the plane. Okay, this I'm trying to set down in the blue box. Ah, I sit down too early. Okay, so it is, we are supposed to try and touch down in the blue box, not stop in the blue box. All right. With that information, I'll let me readjust. Oh, now we've got less of a weird blade, still black box, okay. Okay, how close was that now? Didn't feel too horrible, we weren't in the blue box though. One point two million. Well, I think I'll take that. Definitely not the best. If I practice a little bit more, I could do better. Uh, I've been improving steadily, especially once I've figured out which way it was supposed to go. Uh, but yeah, I'll take that for now. I'm, I'm not, not going to challenge the top 10 or anything. 
Anyway, so with that, with that being my my benchmark for this particular challenge, see if you can do better. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.